So this is the brand new Fire OS 18 and it is one of the best Chrome OS alternative. So in this video we will look at its pros and cons. So let's get started. So this is the home screen and going to the settings you can check out the Fire OS the version information and um, the updates are paid for it so you won't see any kind of updates if you try to check but you can manually flash them whenever the updates arrive uh, now going to the wallpaper settings this is the new option that we did not see in the fire 17 so now you have the material u option just like the chrome os so the theme colors will actually uh, adapt according to the wallpaper and change the accent color as well and this was a must change and you can only enable it with the flags in the previous versions but now it is built in and also you can check out the dark mode here looks pretty good and quite emulate kind of dark and these are all the wallpapers that we had and these are similar to the chrome os versions and uh, this is only the new one we have in the 18 one. and it has both is dark mode uh, dark and light options so that is good now we also have the option for the restart and power off so that is always good to see we also have the support for cast so you can just cast the whole fire os your home screen to your smart display or tv another major update is the support for desktop so we can have multiple desktops so if you want to open up one for the work apps and other for your personal you can do that so we have play store application in one desktop and then maybe your browser or something else in another so this is good for multitasking we saw this update in the chrome os version 120 as well so it's good that they have uh, finally adapted it to the fire os as well and we also have the shortcut to switch between the multiple windows you can close them together if you want to so that's good now coming to the file manager we have the uh, now option for deep search so if you want to search for any files or something you can actually sort them by uh, time and date so it makes it easier to search for your files and sort them out so it's good to see the file manager is getting updated every version now we also have option for clipboard you can access it using your windows and v button so we have the support for google play store and if you're first time opening it you need to enable it from the fire os store and there you can see the open gapps option so just simply add it and install it now and restart you will see the google play store there so in my case i wasn't able to sign into the google play store as it was saying your device is not uh, certified so to fix that you need to uh, like uh, follow a, a couple of steps to enable it so first of all you need to go to this website and download this device id applic uh, application after that that open it up now you will see your google service framework id that is the second one uh, you need to click and copy this id now you need to go to the another website this is going to be the device registration for the google and sign in with your google account and then just paste the id and then continue to register and after it i waited for about uh, overnight or 12 hours then you will open up your google play store and with a couple of uh, refreshes it uh, it will allow you finally to sign in and you can use these applications like the uh, youtube or your instagram which was crashing if you not signed to google account and uh, this and after you have signed in and is uh, device is certified you will not face any kind of issues and you can use applications like uh, this uh, krita for the um, creative purposes and you also have the instagram which works without any issues in full screen or in the mobile screen so that is also pretty good now also tried some gaming so free fire here and uh, have the pubg or the bgmi or call of duty uh, unfortunately wasn't working for me and this also requires you to use touch screen as the gaming controller won't work with this game but if you have a gaming controller you can play games like asphalt 8 and uh, it has controller support by default and i had a great time playing it so no issues there so if you have a controller you can simply use bluetooth or even wired and it will support the wired uh, connection as well for the gaming controller so that is good
now f- one thing i did not like is the fact that we do not see any support for the google's quick share or nearby share so you need to use file drop or other application to share files so i hope they somehow add the support for it so that was all the features and if you want to learn how to install it i will leave the guide in the description or you can check out the other video as well so performance wise i did not face any kind of issues there was no crashes or anything like that so i had a really great experience using the fire os 18 so that was it for this video do not forget to like this video and comment if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching